So. pull up my blinds because these lines on my face is not it i just woke up it's well i woke up like an hour ago i woke up at like 7 20. it's 8 it's 8 24. i'm currently editing vlogmas day three um i know i said yesterday i was gonna have all my p's and q's in order and i was gonna wake up and be able to just jump start the day because i edited my video last night that did not happen that the four hours of sleep that i got the night before yeah as soon as like it was like 10 30 i was getting very tired i knocked out hella early last night i did not edit anything <sighs> ah! so i had to wake up extra early today i feel better though because i'm well rested so i'm gonna edit this vlog i don't think it's gonna be uh like it's gonna take too long so hopefully i can get it up in like the next two to three hours so it'll be like 9 10 a.m here and then it'll be like what 12 1 p.m on the east coast I try to be mindful of it, like what time it'll go up on the East Coast because a large some of my subscribers and followers on Instagram are like on the East Coast. Not necessarily just New York, but like just all along the East Coast. That's my tea. Ugh. Okay, I'm coming. I was like, what does that smell? I cleaned the stove last night. Can someone suggest a good cleaner, like stovetop cleaner for like electric stoves? Because you know when you cook with an electric stovetop, if something spills on it and then it burns, it like burns it weird. I don't know. This is like, everything is trial and error. But This tea, by the way, is so yummy. And it's because it's already one of my favorites. So when I go to Starbucks, one of my drinks that like I always go to, like my go-to, other than my pink drink, is the um, passion fruit tea with no lemonade. And then I get like two extra pumps of sweetener. And they sell it, cause it's made by Tazo. It's literally the same exact one. So I was like, um yeah i'm gonna get that and i love it it tastes so good so yeah i'm about to put this on my little coaster and i'm editing the video that's gonna go up very soon so yeah that's my that's that's about to be my morning for sure so i'm still editing um it's like 11 o'clock now a little after 11 I'm pretty much finishing up the yesterday's vlogmas. I didn't realize how much filming I did yesterday. I filmed a lot. This one's gonna be long. Like, it's already at 40 minutes right now. So I'm like, kind of debating on whether or not I should cut it down, cut some things out, or if I should just leave all of it. Cause you guys really like the longer videos. But since I'm posting every day, I'm like, I feel like people are gonna be less inclined to watch. 40 minute vlogs every single day. I don't know. What do you guys think? But I also decided like I'm gonna be it's gonna be like a day in the life kind of video Like day in the life as a micro influencer Because that's what I am. I'm a micro influencer. I don't know why I'm still doing quotations, but yeah So I just made myself some oatmeal because I was working and I was like 
you can't work and not have anything in your body like honestly my brain functions a lot better when i eat <laughs> and i'd be forgetting that that's important so i just made myself some oatmeal i'm gonna put some berries some raspberries i might as well just put all of them right no i'll leave a little bit some blackberries and that's my breakfast i'm about to eat this while i finish up editing this vlog and then i'll check on you guys when i do the next part of my day which is gonna be <laughs> more work yay look at my oatmeal looking all pretty it just it really be the the brass utensils for me i so badly want to take a nap i'm not a morning person but i'm required now to be a morning person. I'm definitely a night person. I don't know what it is, but I really come alive in the nighttime. I be feeling my most creative in the night. Like I just wanna jump up and like be productive or like do something really creative, like paint or draw or do my makeup or like film a video. And I'm like, it's two o'clock in the morning. Like, why do you feel like this? <laughs> Go to sleep. <laughs> I'm trying to transition into becoming a morning person because they say all of the, the millionaires and the billionaires of the world wake up at like 5 a.m. every day. And I'm trying to be a millionaire. <laughs> I'm trying to be a millionaire. <laughs> it's the Christmas song for me. I'm just here, you know, looking crusty. Um, the vlog is downloading right now, but I'm responding to dms right now you guys are so active in my dms like every time i post like little polls or questions anytime that i post about like aquarius related stuff i realize i have a lot of aquarius followers when i did my new body tiktok the one that went viral on tiktok and on instagram low-key went viral on instagram because I have like, I actually created, you know how on Instagram you could create saved folders or like saved albums of like posts that are on Instagram. I have a whole folder that's called repost and it's literally just filled with my new body video that like all these other pages reposted. I was saying when I did this video, Dick. No little word trying to stick me like a toothpick. Let me a new body now. I need some new dick. I but shot some duck on this to shoot food. So when I did that video and it went viral, mad people saw my neck tat. I'm putting it at the wrong side. It's definitely. Oh yeah, it's definitely on the side. <laughs> I forgot for a second. Mad people saw this tat and like were hitting me up like, oh my gosh, I'm an Aquarius. I love that tattoo. Like I would definitely get that. Some people messaged me, it was like, I got that tattoo because I saw it on you. Like they got it in the same placement and they got the same thing or they got the same tattoo, but in a different placement. So I have a lot of Aquarius followers, which is something that I love because I feel like Aquariuses are very accepting of just everyone and everything. And we're like really good at just being friends with everybody. So I feel like my supporters are very like, just open to anything that I'm down to post and they like love whatever I do so I really love that it's like very you could just tell we're all on the same type of time like all my Aquarius subscribers and Instagram followers and stuff so I love it here I love it here so right now I'm responding to DMs because I have a shit ton of them and I just I like to try and write back as many people as possible because like you guys take your time out of the day to like respond to something or send me a message about how i inspired you or you love my content or i made your day better like it's it's really it's so sweet i love it so i'm writing back to my subbies right now another part of being i'm responding to dms and i was also responding to comments under my most recent post um it's just really important like if you want to keep your engagement up and you want to have really active followers and you want to have you know conversation like under your post and around your post and about your posts you have to write people back i don't understand how there's like some influencers that like don't respond to people like i'd be going under their post and like people have questions and like none of them are getting responded to and i'm like I'm just one person 
and I know when I get to the point where I have like so many followers I'm not gonna be able to respond to everyone but until then like I'm gonna respond to as many people as I physically can it, it just gets a little tedious when people start asking the same questions but sometimes y'all just be taking care of it <laughs> be like what was the name of like whatever and then somebody will be like oh yeah she said it here or it's this or whatever so that's what I'm doing right now I'm gonna upload this video. I'm gonna come back to you guys when I'm like putting it up on YouTube and show you my little process. Day in the life of an influencer, a micro influencer. <laughs> this is how I look. There's a meme. Oh my gosh, if I can find the meme. There's literally a meme and it's like me on Instagram and then me when I'm responding to comments and it's like, literally like me on instagram i'm like full glam hair done makeup done nails outfit jewelry body shimmer all of it the full nine and then this is me like responding to comments like bonnet my hair is doing anything my pajamas still on like christmas socks like it's real it's real bummy but that's just how it be you know i'm only full glam for when I'm doing content, when I'm shooting content, or if I'm going out. And I'm not going nowhere, we in quarantine, so I'm only full glam for content, and that's like here and there, that's not every day. I just realized I'm exposing, mm, Ooh! I'm exposing the fuck out of myself. I really do look bummy 24 seven. I'm like trying to find a thumbnail for this video. I look crusty in every single clip, so like, what's really tea? Mm, I have the option of me having a bonnet on in the thumbnail and me having a bonnet on in the thumbnail. But then like also like I could do it with like I have a bonnet on in the thumbnail. But then like there's also another clip where like I have a bonnet on. So that's going to be in the thumbnail. And it's like this video, I need to look cuter today. Like I need that to be a thing because mm, okay. Let me show you how I make my thumbnails because why not? Ugh. Why not? Can you guys see? Can you see good? Okay, so I just screenshot um, whatever part of the video I like that I look good in. <laughs> Let's just say I wanna do this right here. I make it full screen and then I pause it and I use the arrows to go back and I find a frame where it looks really crisp and clear because it's a video, so it's not always gonna look crisp and clear. Sometimes it can be blurry because I'm moving too much, but this is pretty clear. So then I just hit on my keyboard, you hit Command Shift 4 at the same time. And this little, you guys can see it on the screen, this little, uh, cursor pops up with like it looks like a target and if you hit the space button it turns into a camera and then if you click on your mouse pad it takes a screenshot and that's how you take a screenshot of like a full screen screenshot if you just wanted to take a screenshot of a specific thing you do command shift 4 again and you have the little thingy and then let's say i wanted to just do like this area i'm just dragging my mouse across and then it screenshot that right there so then i close out of final cut because i'm done with that i don't need it anymore um i got my screenshots they save my screenshots save directly to my desktop then i go into photoshop i do use photoshop for all of my youtube thumbnails when I first started making videos on YouTube, I didn't know how to use Photoshop. I taught myself how to use Photoshop. Like literally, I taught myself everything that I know with Photoshop because no one was able to teach me and I wasn't in school for it or anything and I wanted to learn how to use it. So I would just Google like, how do you do this in Photoshop? Or I would find a YouTube video like how to do this and I would watch YouTube videos. And over the course of the past couple of years, I just, gotten really good with it so now i feel very comfortable with photoshop i feel like there's a lot of things that i know how to do there's still a lot of stuff that i don't know how to do it's one of those very like um advanced softwares in my opinion and if you have like you know no experience with it then it can be very overwhelming like when i was learning i would get so frustrated because i was just like this is not what i was trying to do before i started using photoshop i used to use picmonkey picmonkey.com to make my thumbnails <laughs> for youtube 
and that worked for me. <coughs> why am i coughing <coughs> okay like shit yeah so i'm about to upload vlogmas day three and down here it's gonna tell me how long it's gonna take let it load a little bit an hour and 13 minutes and you know why one it's because of the time of day it's midday over here it's like a little after midday on the east coast and it's a vlogmas time so there's just a lot more people uploading to youtube right now during this time like typically if i were to upload let's say around seven o'clock it may take like 45 minutes to upload the other night i uploaded a weekly vlog last week it was like 10.40 here, which means it was after 12 on the East Coast, and it legit took 15 minutes. So it all depends on how many people are uploading to YouTube when you're uploading, but this is literally saying it's gonna take an hour and 10 minutes. So even though the video's ready at 1.45 right now, it's, still, it's not gonna go up until three o'clock, which is six o'clock on the East Coast. So there's that. That's why I be trying, I be trying. So back to the thumbnail. Yeah, I used to use pickmonkey.com to create all my thumbnails and that worked for a very long time. It was very effective, very user friendly, beginner friendly, easy to use. Um, but then they started, I feel like at some point they started charging for it. Like it used to be free. And then it was like, you had to start paying just to use the website. You had to pay so that there'd be no watermark pick monkey logo like in the corner of your images that you're you know downloading off of that website and i was like mm, no if i'm gonna pay for something then i might as well pay for like an official software so then that's when i was like well i'm kind of you know well versed in having a macbook because i had a macbook air so i knew how to use apple products not that photoshop is made for apple or anything but like i had a good understanding of like how to use my computer i had a better understanding of like photo editing with the pic monkey website so i was like let me just download photoshop so i signed up for photoshop you do have to pay for it and i just started like playing around with it like literally just clicking on every single button that's in photoshop trying to figure out what what does this do and is this something that i would use and it took a couple years um that was a couple years ago that's yeah, 20 it's about to be 2021 isn't that crazy so yeah i would say maybe three years ago i started using photoshop and only now do i feel like yeah i'm that girl when it comes to photoshop there's a lot of stuff that i could do there's a lot of stuff that i've done that's actually really cool that you guys you would not even be able to tell not even like photoshopping like me but i'm just talking about like graphic and things of that nature thumbnails are very important when it comes to youtube the first thing that people look at is the thumbnail like if i'm typing in on youtube a uh, poly gel nail tutorial and then it says 500,000, you know results from the search or whatever the things that I'm looking at, the first thing that I'm looking for going down the list is the thumbnail. I'm looking at to see whose nails look the nicest. I'm like, ooh, this person's nails look, ooh, but then her nails look better. Oh, but like her nails are really good. And I go based off of the images first. Then I'll look at the caption and then the caption has to be, you know, the title of the video has to be good too. It has to be something that's like eye-catching or something that's going to appeal to a, lar a large group of people. You don't want it to be too specific, but you don't want it to be too general. I don't just want to see poly gel nail tutorial. And I don't want to see poly gel nail tutorial for super extra long, curved, ballerina shaped, glittery, sharp nails. Like that's too much. That's doing too much. You're just doing too much. Like, there's a healthy medium, you know? With vlogging, I I like to take the approach of the thumbnail being attractive, meaning like I look good in the thumbnail because people with vlogging, it's all about the person. It's all about the personality, the person, attractiveness, popularity, relatability. Ooh, I'm, I'm spilling some tea right now. I hope you guys have a pen and paper or you're taking notes in your phone, something. Take these down, this is, this is quality advice right here anyway with vlogging it's all about the person and you know being eye-catching you don't want the image to be too small where like i can't really tell what's going on in the image you don't want it to be too blown up where it's just like is that an eye is that 
the crevice in their elbow like so people have different approaches with their thumbnails for vlogs some people like to do like multiple images and i tried that on a vlog and it wasn't the most successful video i feel like personally for me i like to just have a single image with words but a lot of people like to do little collages but i feel like little collages can look cluttered like and it'll be like there's a lot going on i don't really know what the focus of the video is everyone has different approaches though some people do it really well some people do the collages and it's like everything color scheme wise like goes together um aesthetically it's all like the same like if it's like home decor so it's like a little image of their their living room and then their bedroom and their bathroom and it's like okay this is a vlog about like home decor haul or something i want to click on that like they have a really nice aesthetic but if you have like cooking and then makeup and then this like i may be like uh that's a little all over the place i'm not sure if i want to click on that you know it's also a lot about knowing what your niche is and knowing what people want to see from you so my niche over the years have cha has changed so much on youtube it started off with hair hair being like my natural hair i had the japanese hair straightening that was like my first video that went viral on youtube and then from there like i big chopped and then my videos became more about my natural hair journey my curly hair journey and then i got into makeup and i felt like i knew enough about makeup and i liked makeup enough to want to focus on that so i kind of switched over to the makeup thing it wasn't the most popular on my channel it wasn't like i was getting the same views that i was getting with the natural hair videos and the curly hair videos but it was like something that i wanted to pursue and i didn't see it at the time as something that i really shouldn't have focused on um because it didn't really like help my channel grow anything but it was just like i was doing it because that's what i enjoyed which is fine then it switched over to well then i started to like vlog but it was just traveling vlogs so it was whenever i went on vacation I was like, I'm gonna vlog this. And I got into vlogging because I like watching other people's travel vlogs. And I was like, I can do this. Like, this is something that I can do. Next time I go on a vacation, I'm gonna vlog it. And I remember one year I went on like four different vacations in that one year. And those became really popular on my channel. But that's like content that, unless you're constantly traveling, is not something that you're posting consistently. You go on a vacation like, the fact that I went on that many vacations in one year was a blessing because I didn't have anything else going for me on my channel. Like nothing else really popped off, but those travel vlogs, they did pretty well for themselves. So yeah, the travel vlogs was doing their thing and people kept saying, oh, I, like I would love for you to vlog. Like I love your vlogs. Like can you vlog more, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, okay, they want to see vlogs. Like maybe I should try vlogging when I'm like home in New York. And I think I did like two like day in the life or daily vlogs and they were very they didn't do well and that's okay you have to try things out you have to try different kinds of content you have to see what people react to you have to see what people engage with what they like and what they don't like so that you can then take that information back and be like okay i'm gonna come at them with a different approach or i'm gonna try something different next month yeah the daily vlogs they didn't they didn't do what they were supposed to do they didn't do what the travel vlogs was doing so i was like we're not doing that no more still doing the makeup thing i also wasn't consistent with youtube uh i posted like here and there i posted like once a month twice a month maybe sometimes i'd skip a cup a, a couple of months or i'd skip a whole month like it was very all over the place so you're only with youtube you're only going to get back as much as you put in i was putting in maybe like 40 percent of myself it was a good 60 percent that i wasn't investing into youtube i had a job i was working i was in a relationship i had you know family stuff going on like i just didn't have the time nor the energy nor the desire to want to put more into youtube so i only got back 40 percent. i got back what i put in that's the biggest thing people always ask me like how do you like how do you do the youtube thing and i'm not even at a point where like i'm like up there you know i haven't even hit 100 hundred thousand subscribers yet but it is something that i get to do full time now and i'm very thankful for that and i can honestly say it wasn't until this year with quarantine happening 
um, I was back home with my family. I didn't have anything else going on and I was just like, I'm going to be consistent with YouTube and I'm going to put more energy into this because this is something that I really want to do. And I was like, what are some things that I'm good at that I've grown to love? And in, I'd say in the last like year and a half, I've grown to love doing my nails. I was like, listen, we're in quarantine. Nobody can get to the nail salons right now, myself included. I have a bunch of nail stuff in the house between me, my mom, and my sister. I was like, I got my camera and I got a bunch of time. Well, I'm gonna just sit down and film myself giving like giving me a new set because I don't have anything better to do. So that's what I did. And I started filming my little uh, DIY nail videos with the poly gel. Sat down and I filmed nail video. I did the white nails, the poly gel nails, and that went viral in quarantine. And it's cause a lot of people, everyone was home on their phones, on their computers, watching videos. I had nothing better to do than engage in my content. And I think the fact that I'm not a professional, um, I make mistakes too. It, it's a learning, it's a learning process for me, and I'm just kind of recording it and showing you guys. And I'm trying to offer as much tips and advice so that you can achieve the same look at home. Like people really resonated with that. And then from there, it was like after being on YouTube for six years. In the last year, my channel has grown faster than it, it has the entire time that I've been on YouTube. This this tangent started, I don't really remember where it started. I know I have Photoshop pulled up, but like, I don't remember how I started talking about this. But yeah, that's my little like origin story, YouTube origin story. But let's get into this thumbnail though. This is where we at, right? <sighs> you open up Photoshop create new with youtube thumbnails the dimensions are 1280 by 720 pixels so i have it already set here because it's my one of my recent items i'm always using this these dimensions but you would just type it in here so 1280 width 720 height you want the orientation to be landscape which is to the side i always keep the resolution at 300 pixels and all this stuff background color is white click create and then it opens up my image well not my image but my background and then i go to file open and i open up the screenshot that i just took this is it here there's a black bar on the top and the bottom because it's a screenshot of a video so the first thing i'm going to do is crop this because this image is from a video, the pixels, I don't know all of the correct terminology, but I do know this. Um, the pixels of this image are a lot larger than the 1280 by 720 thumbnail uh, background that we have set up. So I can't just start editing on this photo because when it's time to save it, the image will be too big to upload to YouTube. So I actually just drag the, the photo over to my background, my YouTube thumbnail background, and you see how big the image is? Like, it's so big that it doesn't even fit the screen. I'm gonna Command T and just make it smaller, smaller, and I just fit it to this image. I fit it to the background. So now, this is the, the correct um, proportion so that if I, when I do export this image it'll save to the right size so I can just put it straight on YouTube and we're good to go so now we're here I'm not like there's really not much to do to this image I can blur the background a little if I want that's what this giant image is can someone tell me why when I click I, if anybody there has to be somebody watching that that knows Photoshop better than me because I don't know it that well myself but like why is my why does the screen do that when I click down? Like I'm blurring the background and it's blurring, but why is it turning white like that? It, that's never happened before. If you command minus, it makes it smaller. And if you command plus, it zooms in. So I don't know what's going on, but yeah, it's just been doing that as of recent. Like one day I just opened it up to use it and it's doing this weird shit. I don't know what the fuck that's about. 
The next thing I'm going to do is just put some words on here. So I like to put vlogmas. That's what I'm doing for all my vlogmas thumbnails. And I want to make this font really nice and big so that these thumbnails on on your cell phone are very small so you have to be mindful of how small you make the font on the thumbnail because it looks big on your computer screen but when you upload it to YouTube it's literally like a little box and then on your cell phone it's even smaller so I try to make sure that like my font is like a really nice big font that's easy to read and it's clear like this is like a nice big like bolded kind of like widely uh spaced font but i do vlogmas and then i'll put day three over here and i like to command t and just like make it a little a little curved and then i'll put it right up here i don't wanna i don't i typically don't have anything overlap my face or anything but it doesn't look bad and i have a bonnet on my forehead also looks <gasps> really big maybe I'll leave it like that then I'm just gonna go in um, I right clicked and I brought up blending options and I like to add a drop shadow behind the words it makes it look really cool it's like popping off the page and then I add an outer glow um, which just kind of like highlights the words it looks cool that's my little trick I do this with every single thumbnail no matter what's said i always add the drop shadow and the outer glow okay so that's my thumbnail like there really isn't much more to it sometimes i color correct like if i look pale i add a little saturation or if the photo is too yellow then i'll contrast it with some like blues or i add like a little pink hue because sometimes pink looks really cute or you can add um, you can sharpen the image, but I feel like this is fine Like it's either gonna be this one or let me bring up the other image that I was that I screenshot I think I like more than this one, which was This here with the yeah, I think I'm gonna do this one. I look so crazy So same thing Just a little croppy crop Like that and then I'm gonna bring it back over to this i'm gonna just overlap it right now because i want to see what it looks like so you can rearrange the layers of the images so i can drag this photo and have it on top of the other selfie of me in the bathroom but it's underneath the layers of the vlogmas um captioning and the day three so that's how you do that and then i'm gonna just make it smaller because it's really big i would say if you're just starting out with youtube it's not necessary to have all of the um bells and whistles of it all like people are always so focused on like having uh the best camera or the best lighting or the most um expensive or just advanced editing software and that's not even necessary Honestly, I only had Final Cut on my MacBook Air because I was in film school and that was something that I already was familiar with. But if it was some if if I had no clue on how to edit and I had no idea where to begin and I had a MacBook, I'd use iMovie. iMovie is basically iMovie is basically the like beginner friendly version of Final Cut cuz Final Cut is only available on Apple products and um, iMovie is the same thing, but iMovie is free. Final Cut you have to pay for. I think it's like $350, $350. iMovie comes free when you buy um, a, a MacBook Air, a Pro, any Apple software. It even comes on your iPhone. Everyone has iMovie if you have an Apple product, your iPad, whatever. So yeah, if I, didn't know what final cut was i didn't know how to edit and i didn't i wasn't like you know familiar with that software i would have started out with imovie and i tell people that all the time it's a lot easier to use than final cut so yeah i like this thumbnail way better than the other one but i just wanted to show you guys so i'm gonna do i'm gonna move day three down here i'll i'll 
will make it like here and then vlogmas will go over here right above my head and i'm gonna tilt it a little bit more move it so that it's not getting cut off anywhere yeah and i look like i'm spilling some tea which i was period so i'm just gonna export this i do export as and i always save it as a jpeg file it'll stay png png is when you want it to have a transparent background this is a thumbnail there's no need for it to have a transparent background so i'm saving it as a jpeg you can also save as a gif or an svg i'm not even sure what an svg is but jpeg it is for me the width i told you is 1280 pixels by 720 so that's the right size the canvas is the correct size you click export all and i save it to my desktop and i always just put whatever i'll put vlogmas day three thumb and just like that we have a thumbnail okay save thank you so we'll just minimize photoshop this is still uploading it's at 38 percent 45 minutes left. I can upload my thumbnail here. And there it is. And there's my thumbnail. Um, I always do the same description box. I have it saved in pages. So I'm just gonna copy and paste that into the description box. For the title, let's do, oh, I'm doing Vlogmas number three. What was this video about? I'd be forgetting and I just edited the whole thing. I was cleaning. I cooked. Okay, let's do clean with me plus I tried cooking. Uh, no. Let's do I made spicy chicken sliders at home in quarantine. Um, I'll, I'll put fail with an exclamation point in parentheses. Yeah, I think so. Cause I, it was low key kind of a fail. I mean, it wasn't, it came out good, but like it, I burned it. <laughs> oh, I made air fried. That's what I want to put air fried, air fried spicy chicken sliders at home in quarantine. Yeah, that's my title. I always add it to a playlist. So I have my Vlogmas 2020 playlist. No, it's not made for kids because I'd be talking about anything. I'd be twerking and stuff. That's kind of long. I was just telling you guys not to have super long titles. Super long titles aren't bad, but like sometimes people don't be reading them. Who knows? And then for tags, ooh, y'all want the tea? Okay, make sure you put it, if it's a vlog, people in vlogs. Mine is set to how to and style because I'm a beauty channel. The real tea is right here. So for tags, you wanna make sure that you're using tags. I found out that there's a lot of people who don't actually ever put tags under their videos. I've never not put tags. Like, even my very first YouTube video, I put like 20 tags under that. And I feel like that helped, you know? It helped people find my, my video. So tags are useful with people finding your content because if they type in, let's say they type in Vlogmas videos. Your video might pop up. Actually, your video will pop up, but based on how many views it has, it'll pop up either really high on the list or it'll pop up really low on the list. So, for instance, my first poly gel video that went viral, um, one of the tags that I put under it was poly gel nail tutorial, poly gel tutorial, poly gel nails, poly gel, poly gel for, for poly gel for beginners how to use poly gel how to poly gel and when that video went viral in my analytics youtube literally will tell you under that video what search terms resulted in you getting the most views out of those tags so under that video and i wrote it down in my notebook under that video the two like highest search tags were poly gel nails and poly gel nail tutorial because of those two tags my like my video 
was at the top like the very first video when you search poly gel nails my video was the first one when you search poly gel nail tutorial my video was the first one so that helped imagine if i never put tags under my video then it wouldn't have shown up when people search those terms and i would have gotten less views or i would have got no views so make sure you're always putting tags under your videos i put vlogmas videos i'm gonna put vlogmas i'm gonna put vlogmas I'm gonna put Vlogmas 2020, Vlogmas Weekly, uh, people do Vlog Sember. I always put my name because sometimes people will search for my content, they'll just type in Jasmine or Jasmine Destine. So I'll put Jasmine. What else? I'll put uh, Weekly Vlogs Day in the life cook with me cooking vlog cooking fail <laughs> i put vlogmas 2019 surprisingly enough i checked my analytics this morning and my vlogmas videos from last year are getting views today like right now people are actively watching my vlogmas videos from last year and i was going to take them off my channel because i was like there's no need for them to be up but people are watching them and i'm getting revenue off of people watching videos from last year it's crucial that you have a twerk break as a micro influencer <laughs> Stop because I'm watching, I'm watching Yanni's new video. No, no, literally, I'm about to start crying. Oh my gosh, she's like, I'm watching her video because that's my sis. And she had like mentioned me earlier. She had said that I influenced her. Like she had mentioned that I had inspired her, her makeup routine or whatever. And I was just like, Oh, that's so cute. And I'm like here just getting ready because I'm about to run out, run some errands. I have packages to pick up downstairs and shit. So I'm like getting dressed, but I'm in the bathroom, got the light on. I'm in the bathroom and I'm playing it out here and it's just playing. And then she mentioned me again and like what she's talking about is like a conversation that we had while she was here in LA. And I'm literally like getting emotional. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, because like seriously, there's like some people who just get it and then there's other people that like it kind of the message just be going over their head you know yanni's one of those people that like she's always just like understood and i feel like we could always like talk to each other even though we'll go like long periods of time like not tapping in and not like hitting each other up because we're like super busy and there's just a lot of shit that's going on in both of our lives like whenever we do come back and connect it's always like we just spoke the day before so i love you bitch i know she probably watching this if you watching this i love you too bitch period but she literally was like she, <laughs> i'm about to rewind it that's what i had Oh, they're going to add. Come on. We're going to let it play too so she can get her queen up. Period. Dude, I really feel like I had to get a big girl. I had to do this and had to do that. And a lot of stuff, you know what? I don't know. That kind of made me emotional. But you know what? My friend Jazz, like, I love that bitch. <laughs> Jazz may be watching. I love you, sis. Period. I love but you too, really sis. Like, no, but seriously, that was just so cute. Like, Adores. I'm just getting ready. I'm just appreciating the fact that my waist is on. You know, you feel me? Like she's giving very much. Yes, I did my hair just to go outside because I don't know. I was looking crusty all day. I put this really cute headband on and it's gray and it matches my outfit. <laughs> Yeah, this is my outfit. Sweatpants are from Pretty Little Thing. This top 
is from Zara, these little ribbed. I don't think they're doing the sleeveless though anymore because it's winter. But look at this hair. This hair, this curly hair is like my favorite thing ever. It's just so pretty. Curls, they're so natural. I just be putting mousse and water in it. Like that's it, I don't put nothing else. Just mousse and water and I let it air dry. And I like it when it gets a kind of frizzy cause then it just looks really full and like big. Thumbnail. Yeah, I'm about to go downstairs and pick up my packages. I ordered some stuff. I don't think it's the stuff that I ordered. For some reason, I feel like I just ordered that stuff. There's no way that it's already here. So it's something else, but I don't know what. It's really me for me. Sometimes you just gotta gas yourself up. Uh, that's the that's another that's another influencer tip. Confidence. You want to exude confidence, even if it's not always there. Sometimes you gotta fake it till you make it, and sometimes me faking it actually leads to me actually feeling it. So you guys always um, will DM me, respond to my story, or comment under my videos and say like, "It's the confidence for me." Like. Uh, like your confidence is everything like how do you do it or I want to be like you or I love your confidence and I can I promise you when I tell you like I this is so new like this confidence thing is still in the making for me like it's still growing like I'm not fully there yet but it's with it's only happened within the last like year I'd say um, and I can get into that at a later time <laughs> you can do it sis I believe in you. It's something that you can achieve as well. Like we can all be confident. You're, you being confident doesn't mean that you're shitting on the next person or you're looking down on the next woman. You being confident has everything to do with you and you only. It has nothing to do with anybody else. Nobody else's validation, no one else's approval, uh, no one else. Like it, ha it shouldn't have anything to do with anybody else. It should have everything to do with you and who you are on the inside and, and what you want to exude on the outside, you know? So. So with that being said, let's get to it. Um, yeah, I'm about to go pick up my pages. I keep saying that, but I'm not going anywhere. I mean, I keep saying that, but I haven't left. So let's go. <laughs> I just said men were nothing without women are are nothing and i 1000 percent agree <laughs> yeah, women I women really run the world we run the world, we run shit. The world girl. men don't like to admit it women. we we fucking run shit it's really about yeah. the pussy power of it all i thought it i thought it was tweet and they were like this girl's like oh <laughs> I talked to him, hey, and he, he about to let me hit. Like, it's so easy. It was fucking <laughs> Men are like, whores. That's what it is. Yeah. Like, I. I like, the, it's so easy. It literally took so me like, responding. Yeah to that it's fucking and to, he didn't he did not hesitate within like fucking 10 seconds yo men are whores all you have to do you don't even have to say anything you could really slide in niggas dm and be like just react to his story and say like wow and that nigga will hit you back like i'm trying to stick this in you like can you come <laughs> can you come sit on it <laughs> On some, on some real shit, you really don't have to say nothing to these men, and they just, just un, like willingly just. Open, like the minute all you have. Their legs just spread like whores. Like stick your toe in the gate, and they will come busting that door down. No, literally, men are so easy, and then they, they have the nerve to call women sluts. Like, uh -huh. and they're the biggest ones. They be so slutty. Yep. yep. That's the real team. And that might it's be a really little too piping hot for them. Mm? They're not going like that one. It's really these nails for me. I think this is one of my favorite sets that I've ever done. They're like the simple. The nails matching the pajamas for me. Yeah, it was that's the nails good. matching the That's a new level. I, I haven't I haven't tapped, like I never tapped into that level yet. It's the ply nail with the bread bottom. 
Bro. Like that. Bro. Yeah. Do they have lubes, like plaid lubes with red bottoms? Because if they don't, they need to do that. Like, we've been doing Day in the Life. Day in the Life unboxing PR. We love it. We love it here. So let's open her together because I don't even know what this is, to be honest. I'm really quite curious. I'm really quite intrigued, yeah. Ooh, okay, so it's my glam bag and it's another box. This says refreshments. Is it actually refreshments? <gasps> Is there food in this? Stop, stop. Because if they sent me food, I will really cry. I love Ipsy. Stop, did they send me like a little treat or something? If it's not food and it's makeup, I won't be mad. This is my Ipsy Super Glam bag plus, I don't even know, it has like the most longest ridiculous name ever, but. All you gotta do is say yes. Ooh, look at the inside, you guys. Okay, so this is what it looks like, fresh. Open it up. I think the other box is makeup. I don't think it's food. <laughs> So there's this little pouch with some stuff in it. We've got Tula Skincare Probiotic Skincare and it's an exfoliating sugar scrub. This is a puzzle. That's so cute. An Ipsy puzzle. I like that. A day and night cream from QMS Meta Cosmetics. So that's another skincare item. We love skincare. Ooh, this is an eye cream. I actually need an eye cream. I don't currently have one in my skincare routine and I wanted one. They sent a deck of cards, of Ipsy cards. Now I can play card games with myself. This brush, we love makeup brushes. You can never have too many brushes, okay? Oh, It Cosmetics Superhero Elastic Stretch Volumizing Mascara. And an eyeshadow palette. Ah, oh, and it's my favorite kind of colors, browns and neutrals. I literally, ooh, I can't wait to pop this open. This is gonna be really cute. Ooh, Murad Essential C Cleanser. Okay, I like it a lot. Benefit Professional Primer is mini. It's a, is this an eye pencil? Ooh, it's a Skyliner. And the last little thing in that pouch is this Pure Lisa Blue Lotus Eye Adore Serum. So another little serum for the eyes. Why settle for basics when you can have refreshments? There's stickers. Ooh, this is a body cream. Okay, okay, I like that. Facial cleansing wipes, makeup remover wipes. And a hand cream. Ooh, I needed a hand cream because my hands have been hella dry. I've been washing them so much because of COVID. And I just feel like my hands have been so dry. Like even the moisturizer that I use on my body is just not, it's just not doing what it needs to do. Like my hands still feel really dry. So I like that because hand creams are typically a little bit like thicker. Thank you, Ipsy. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. That was like hella cute of you guys. It's so freaking good. Oh, I love it. You guys, I'm just sitting here on FaceTime with Chiny. Um, Vampire Diaries is playing in the background, but I'm really just on my computer. If you guys enjoyed today's Vlogmas video, Day in the Life of a Micro Influencer, Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up down below. Go ahead and smash the like button. You can also go ahead and turn on your post notifications because there's new videos every single day leading up until Christmas. I'm doing Vlogmas and I'm gonna be hella consistent with it. So you might as well subscribe, hit the subscribe button, turn on your post notifications. That way you're notified every time that I upload. And yeah, comment your Comment if you could be any kind of animal, what kind of animal would you be? Comment it down below in the comment section and I'm gonna I'm gonna post my <laughs> I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this video, for tuning in with me um, for yet again another vlogmas video. Don't forget you are smart, you are beautiful, and people love you. I love you and I can't wait to see you on my next upload, which is gonna be tomorrow. Bye!